Hello, I'm Wayne Wilson, Vice President of Scanners with Whistler. Today we're going to talk a little bit about programming of the WS1040. All right, we're going to show you a little bit uh, about how to hand program the WS1040 today. Uh, this scanner, normally you would program it uh, by PC with uh, PC software. Uh, that software is available for a free 30-day free download at either starsoft.com or psredit.com. But I want to show you just how simple it is to program this scanner by hand. I'm going to turn the backlight on so make it a little bit easier for you to see. Programming starts simply by hitting the programming key. So you hit program and now notice the bottom row in the uh, display now says new edit or global. That's saying do you want to enter a new object, any, any scannable object? Uh, would you like to edit an object that's currently in the scanner? Or would you like to do some sort of global command like change how the backlight works? So what we want to do is enter a new uh, frequency. So we're going to hit new and then it says select what kind of object you want to create. And so the choices here are talk group, conventional, and search. So we want to enter a conventional frequency, but notice that every object in the object-oriented scanning that we use uh, is treated the same. So that whether it be some, some kind of search or a talk group, it's going to program the same way a conventional frequency does. In this case, I'm going to hit conventional. So now we're at the very top of a list. And the first thing on the list is what scan list do I want to put it in? So you have 22 scan lists that are available. Uh, the asterisk is telling me the default is to put it in scan list 1. And you can see that if I go to the right, scan list 2 has no asterisk. Scan list 3. If I decided I want it in scan list 5, I'd simply press select to give that an asterisk. And you'll see that when we come back to scan list 1, it's still there. That means you can put any object in multiple scan lists, and there are sometimes very good reasons to do that. So in this case, I'll just put it in scan list 5 by extinguishing uh, the asterisk for the 0, 1. The next thing down the list is frequency. So it wants to know what frequency I want to enter. So I'm just going to press select. I'll enter in 146.94 and then press the done key. And now that frequency is entered. That's how simple it is. If that's all I want to do, I'm done. I can just save out. But let's go further down the list and see what we can do. Um, if we go to tag, we can change the name of the object. So the default of the name is channel. But I could, for instance, call this 2 meter uh, ham or something. Um, and and uh, the way you do that is to press select again. And now you'd simply go up key, down key right or left as you go across to change the word channel to whatever other name you want. I'm not going to take the time to do that right now, but we'll come back, done, and we're back on the list again. I can go down and select a squelch mode. If you don't select one, it's search, which is my favorite, because in the search mode, it will decode the CTCSS or DCS uh, code on the display, and it will tell you what it is. And uh, every time it does that, you, uh, you'll see a, uh, a save question mark um, message over the F3 key. So pressing the F3 key would make it save it, and then after that it will only uh, use that. So let's bypass those and go on down a little bit further. We don't want to lock this object out. Uh, we don't want to give it priority. Now we're to LED mode. We have an ultra-bright LED that can display seven different colors uh, right now it's uh, off, um, but it can be, let's look at the mode first, solid or flash. So we'll let it leave it for flash. I'm going to go down to LED color. Zero means off, but you can see that by pressing one is red, two sort of yellow orange, three is green, four light blue, five dark blue, six uh, pink or fuchsia, maybe purple you'd call it, uh, seven is white or something close to white and uh, zero would be back to off again. So if this was a uh, ham frequency, which it is, uh, my default is I would use green for that. 
I can latch the LED when it comes on. I can decide that the backlight should always come on when this object goes active. I can set an alarm like a single chirp, high low tone, ring, or my favorite one, double chirp. The double chirp is just about the right announcement that you alarm that you never get tired of it, so I really like that one. Um, if this is also a favorite frequency, you can decide yes or no to put it in your favorite frequency list. Uh, and then also if this is a Skywarn frequency, uh, you can put it in there. But anytime I'm done, I don't have to specify all this. Remember, if I could have saved it as soon as I entered the frequency. But in this case, I really am done, so I'm going to hit save. And, and actually, it shows me that I already had that frequency in there. Should I create another? In this case, I'll say yes. And now it tells me that's the 78th object that I've saved in the scanner. And now it's ready to go back to the scan mode and include that object in the scan.